listening to KZT Cornerstone Online Live. My name is Newton He. As today's Bible, October 31st, 2021, this is preached by Pastor Joseph Park. I'll be reading the narration that will be autocast through Facebook and YouTube channels. Today's English Mystery Message, From Hope to Hope. Habakkuk, chapter 3, verse 16 through 19. I hear and my body trembles. My lips quiver at the sound. Rottenness enters into my bones. My leg trembles beneath me. Yet I'll quietly wait for the day of trouble to come upon people who evade us. Habakkuk rejoices in the Lord. So the fig tree should not blossom, nor fruit be on the vines. The produce of the olive fail, and the fields yield no food. The flock be cut from the fold, and there will be no herd in the stalls. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will take joy in the God of my salvation. God the Lord is my strength. He makes my feet like the deer's. He makes me tread on my high places. To acquire master with dreams, instruments. You are listening to KZT Cornerstone Online Live. My name is Newton He. As today's Bible, October 31st, 2021, this is preached by Pastor Joseph Park. I'll be reading the narration that will be autocast through Facebook and YouTube channels. Today's English Mystery Message, From Hope to Hope. Habakkuk, chapter 3, verse 16 through 19. I hear and my body trembles. My lips quiver at the sound. Rottenness enters into my bones. My leg trembles beneath me. Yet I'll quietly wait for the day of trouble to come upon people who evade us. Habakkuk rejoices in the Lord. So the fig tree should not blossom, nor fruit be on the vines. The produce of the olive fail, and the fields yield no food. The flock be cut from the fold, and there will be no herd in the stalls. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will take joy in the God of my salvation. God the Lord is my strength. He makes my feet like the deer's. He makes me tread on my high places. To acquire master with dreams, instruments. You are listening to KZT Cornerstone Online Life. My name is Newton He. As today's Bible, October 31st, 2021, this is preached by Pastor David Shen. I'll be reading the narration of the autocast through Facebook and YouTube channels. Today's children's mission message, God is able to save. Genesis chapter 9, verse 1 through 7. Then God blessed Noah and his sons, saying to them, Be fruitful and increase in number and fill the earth. The fear and dread of you will fall on all the beasts of the earth and on the birds in the sky, on every creature that moves along the ground, and on all the fish in the sea. They are given into your hands. Everything that lives, moves about will be food for you, just as I gave you the green plants. I now give you everything, but you must not eat meat that has its lifeblood still in it. And for your lifeblood, I will surely demand an accounting. I will demand an accounting from every animal and from each human being too. I will demand an accounting for the life of human being. Being, whoever sheds human blood, by humans shall their blood be shed. For in the image of God has God made mankind. As for you, be fruitful and increase in number, multiply on the earth and increase you are listening to KZT Cornerstone Online Live. My name is Newton He. As today's Bible, October 31st, 2021, this preached by Pastor June Park. I'll be reading the narration that will be autocast through Facebook and YouTube channels. Today's youth, what happened to your joy? 
Galatians chapter 4, verse 15. Where then is your blessing of me now? I can testify that if you could have done so, you would have torn out your eyes and give to me. Today's youth message, what happens to your joy, Philippians chapter 4, verse 4 to 13. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say, rejoice. Let your reasonableness be known to everyone. The Lord is at hand. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer, supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is any worthy of praise, think about these things, what you have learned, and received and heard and seen in me. Practice these things. In the Lord I rejoice, in the Lord greatly that now at length you have revived your concern for me. You were indeed concerned for me, but you had no opportunity. Not that I am speaking of being in need, for I have learned in whatever situation I am to be content. I know how to be brought low, and I know how to be how to abound. In any every circumstance, I have learned the secret of facing plenty and hunger, abundance and need. I can do all things through him who 